Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Take a look at the image here. You will recognize it as one of the dials behind your steering wheel. Well, this is the fuel gauge which changes position depending upon the fuel level in the tank. The fuel in the tank is measured via a simple sensor called the potentiometer sensor. In this video, we will learn about the potentiometer sensor in more detail. The potentiometer was discovered by J.C. Pogendorf in 1841. The potentiometer sensor, in very simple terms, converts mechanical displacement into a voltage difference. So how does this happen? Let's find out. The working of a potentiometer is similar to that of a rheostat. Potentiometer sensor works on the principle that, as we vary the length of the wire over a fixed distance, the corresponding resistance changes, provided that the wire has a constant current flowing through it. This is why they are also termed as resistive elements. To understand this, let us have a look at this diagram. Here two points are fixed, A and B. A movable wiper is present at point A, which can move along the length of the potentiometer. Let us name this as C. According to the principle mentioned earlier, as the wiper moves, it changes the resistance. With a change in resistance, a potential difference is developed. This change in potential difference helps us in measuring the displacement. If V is the total voltage and R is its total resistance, then V0 is the measured voltage over the resistance R0. Therefore, V0 by V equals R0 by R. Here we see that the track has a constant constant resistance per unit length. That is, it also has a constant resistance per unit angle. This means that an angular displacement can also be measured as the output is proportional through the angle by which the slider has rotated. Potentiometer sensors can be used to measure both linear and angular displacement as a result. Potentiometer sensors find their application in electric guitars too. The sensor here is wired as a volume control. By sending a part of the current to ground, it controls the amount of electric signal received by the amplifier. Potentiometer sensors were also used in TVs to adjust the brightness, contrast and color response. It affected the synchronization between the received picture signal and the receiver's internal sweep circuit. Potentiometer sensors have the following advantages. They find the exact value of the potential difference between any two points and they are easy to use. But they have a couple of disadvantages as well. They experience excessive wear due to moving parts, low repeatability and limited frequency response. Well, that's all about potentiometer sensors. We'll see you again in the next video. Until then, bye.